Now at noon, targeted shooting. The sheriff revealing the search for five gunmen is still on after a shootout last night at East Kentwood High School. We're live with the latest on the victims and the search for the suspects. And right now, Storm Track Live radar dry throughout lower Michigan. You can see some activity up to the north and northwest of us. This is the activity we'll have to watch for developing later today and especially this evening. Hi, everyone, and thank you for joining us today. I'm Tom Hillen. And I'm Emily Leonard. We want to start with new information in the East Kentwood High School shooting released just minutes ago. Sheriff Michelle LaJoy Young has confirmed the shooters were targeting people, and they're looking for as many as five shooters. Police have located the vehicles involved in last night's shooting, but the suspects are still on the run. We also learned the 16-year-old boy who was shot has been released from the hospital. The 40-year-old woman who was shot is stable but remains hospitalized. This happened following the graduation ceremony for Crossroads Alternative High School last night. News 8's Gabrielle Pfeiffer continues our live coverage from East Kentwood High School. Gabrielle? Yeah, uh, Emily and Tom, as you mentioned, they are looking for five shooters. Right now, they do not have any suspect information, um, but they did give details uh, surrounding the incidents uh, or the moments that led up to that shooting on yesterday. Uh, the sheriff said that individuals in a white Hyundai, Hyundai drove to the east Kentwood campus about a half hour after that graduation ended uh, for Crossroads Alternative High School students. Uh, she said there was an individual in that white Hyundai uh, that was in the front passenger shot front passenger side of that vehicle that was uh, shooting at the crowd that was outside at the time. Uh, that second vehicle, she said, is a white Mercedes, and that vehicle was used to escape the scene, but was also shooting back at the individuals that were inside of that white Hyundai. Uh, both vehicles right now are in possession of police. Uh, the sheriff said that the Hyundai was a stolen vehicle and was found abandoned near a business on a Kalamazoo Avenue last night. Um, we spoke more with uh, the sheriff about the incident. Uh, here's what she had to say. It appears the groups of suspects may be known to each other. The group in attendance that fired on the Hyundai fled the scene in a white Mercedes sedan. Kent County Sheriff's detectives are developing suspects from the video, and we believe that there were as many as five shooters in this incident. The white Mercedes was located in the city of Grand Rapids during the overnight hours and is now in our possession and being processed. The white Hyundai was located abandoned on the 6100 block of Kalamazoo Avenue. This Hyundai was a stolen vehicle out of the city of Kentwood. Bullet holes were found in this vehicle and is now being processed by the sheriff's office. It's believed that this white Hyundai has been involved in previous um, stolen vehicle theft incidents. Now, as we said, that 16-year-old has been released from the hospital. Uh, he was uh, shot in the wrist and is from Texas and was attending that graduation yesterday. Uh, the woman, the 40-year-old woman, was the other victim. She is from Grand Rapids. She was shot in the abdomen and in the wrist. Uh, the sheriff said today that she is in stable condition. Again, no suspect information. So right now they are asking that if you have any photos or any videos of the incident that can help in this investigation, uh, they are asking that you send those tips we have a link up on our website right now of how you can do that. We'll send it over back to you for now. All right, Gabrielle Pfeiffer reporting live for us. Thanks, Gabrielle. The sheriff announced this morning that there were at least four guns used. Some appeared to be automatic weapons, and at least one had an extended magazine. Witnesses last night told us they heard more than 10 shots. Did you hear any gunfire? I heard a few. I heard a few. What did it sound like? Man, it was... It sounded like they was whoever they was trying to get, they was trying to get them. They was trying to get them. Like, how quickly were they going off? What it did was, it sound it was, like? It was like, fa, 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 Like, it was, it was crazy. It and was crazy. you heard this from your car? Yeah, 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 right there. Right there. I was driving right up there. I stopped. Yeah, yeah. You pull over, mm -hmm. and then you realize, tell me, like, then you made the realization that this was your... Yeah, Your high school. yeah, I'm seeing. Uh, I can see from a distance, like safety. They they trying to get people, get people like put away and all type. Of shit. It was crazy, man. We were eating dinner, and um, 
we just heard a whole bunch of pops um, and she looked out the window um, and saw a whole bunch of kids running. Is there any screaming? What are you hearing? We didn't hear any screams. It was just a whole bunch of people running. Yeah, there were just kids running like that way. Yeah. So your kid, there's so there are kids running. How many gunshots do you figure you heard? It was more than 10, for sure. It just sounded like rapid knocking. Students at several Kentwood schools were told to stay home today because of this shooting. The district closed these schools for the day. Superintendent Kevin Polston said crisis counselors are available for students who need the help. The Raw School asking any students or parents who do have videos of the shooting to send them to the Kent County Sheriff's Office or contact Silent Observer. Our team of reporters will continue to follow the latest developments in this investigation. Make sure to stay with us both on air and online for updates.